Build app to contained, not constrained. In this video, you'll see how we've started to work on our hay barn and animal run-in from pine trees we harvested from our property. Jerry will also give an update on some of our projects and pasture preparation. You'll get an animal and garden update. And as always, wait around until the end of the video for some of that cuteness. It's been a while since we have made movies, uh, only because all I've been doing is clearing the property in the back. And right now we're in the back, uh, and you see here we have a lot, uh, not a lot, but the one section that we've been working on has the most pine trees. And what they do with pine trees here is they grind them up into pulp and make uh, toilet paper and paper towels out of them. But we're not going to do that. Here you see a couple that I've stripped uh, and I've burnt the ends. So <clears throat> what we're going to make out of this is a uh, cover for the hay. So we have four posts. I'll be stripping those. And then we have pieces that are going to go in between the posts. Uh, that will make a, and we'll make a roof out of it. I'm thinking about even taking some of these uh, to have them rough cut lumber and make the pieces for the roof instead of using uh, stuff from the store. But anyway, we have this project going. And over here you'll see the rest of the pine logs that I have for, we're gonna make a couple of these things. So <clears throat> they're in waiting. And then what I've been working on is all over here. Uh, the last time you saw this, it was probably mostly treed. Uh, but you see, see what happens to even the nice trees. We left any of the live oaks or any of the big hickory trees. They, they get no leaves on the bottom and everything is at the top because the trees are so close together, it all gets crowded out. So 
we tried to separate we need a pasture area which pretty much what you're looking at right in front of you is the burn pit by the way so all the branches and trunks of trees that are the ones that we're not going to save we they go in there and then we call the forestry department and we get permission to burn and it depends on the day the wind whether it if there's no wind you can't burn if there's too much wind you can't burn so it's always that in between time it can't be too dry they, they don't mind it when it's wet uh, but anyway that's the background on how you get permission to do that it doesn't cost anything it's just sort of a you know you, you want to take care of the area so anyway I have all that is where we're gonna have grass and all the way in the back where the trees look thicker we'll be thinning that out uh, it won't look like this it's gonna look more like our pasture in the front Margaret will probably put a picture of that as she's doing the garden she'll show you over there because uh, we want it to look like a park and over here to the right uh, you'll see there's still a couple of more uh, trees that have to come down far right uh, there's not going to be too many because we're not we're going to leave that because that's where a lot of the deer and animals hide in there so that's their habitat but we're going to make just a couple more paths over there uh, but a couple more especially down near the end this is how we want it to look right now that that's all rye grass that's in there which if you're living up north that's what your lawn looks like that's not going to live here in the summer uh, we plant that every fall basically to just have it look better it doesn't do a lot for the animals but a lot of our neighbors and we really like it but a lot of the neighbors really like it because they say it looks like a park and that's that's what we're trying to get uh, because at the end we're still going to have probably like 17 acres of grasslands, you know, pasture that's accessible for cows. And we're only going to have six cows. So we're not going to be upside down as far as any of that goes. But that's, this is what I've been doing for months. Uh, we couldn't get our guy back with the excavator. The one guy we really like to use because he's very busy. Uh, He's working for the guy who owns Bass Pro Shop. I'm starting to hate the guy for Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is what we've been doing back here. And now it's 90%. Uh, and now I'm taking time off today where you'll probably see a picture of me spreading lime, fertilizer, grass seed. And then we're going to get hay and uh, cover it with hay. It's supposed to rain this weekend and that'll help the, the pasture start going. But there won't be a cow, I don't know even know if there's going to be a cow back here this year. Uh, because our, our last lonely cow is going to the spa on August 19th. And this won't even be ready by August 19th to have anybody on it. So we probably won't be any of the things we have now. And Porky is going in a, a week and a half to the spa. But that's it. And uh, Margaret will show you some other stuff along the way.
which covers the lime, fertilizer, and seed to keep moisture in after the rain. The hay is harvested from the hay of grass, which of course has more seeds in it for more growth. You'll see here that our chicken coop is empty. We had some raccoons come and literally bit their heads off and left the rest of them. We caught the raccoons. We don't have a raccoon problem anymore. And then here's the turkey coop. Minnie, Mo, and Jack are not here. Mo and Jack we did have for dinners and then good old Manny who was a really fun turkey he would follow us everywhere like a pet he would follow Molly too the dog and good old Molly tolerated him for a certain number of eh, months I guess until he didn't tolerate him anymore. I know what you like. Come here. I know you like that. You like to be pet. Yes, you do. Don't you? I know. All right. Say goodbye to everybody, Porky. garden is doing very nicely. We planted all these plants except for the tomatoes from seed. We started them in the house. We bring them out every day and put them in at night in the early, early, well it was really kind of early winter. So we've got here some eggplant, peppers, beans over there, cucumbers, and then we've got some spinach, some basil, broccoli, there's the tomatoes that we bought the plants, but all these other came from seed. It was our first year we had some really good success. And down here we did plant this week our corn, so we're going to have six rows of corn. You can see some of them coming up. These are the newer seeds. They're over there on that side. We did have some older seeds that we planted as well, and those are on these two rows. And you can see there's some coming up right there and there. Are our blackberry bushes. They're doing really nicely. They came back. I chopped them down 
um, over the winter and now they're growing very nicely. They have lots of blooms, which means lots of berries. And here is our orange tree and you can see we have a lot, a lot of blooms and a lot of bees enjoying the blossoms. Very fragrant. Here's our blueberry bushes. Again, they're their blooms, their berries, they're coming. You can see the berries there. And here's our Meyer lemon tree, same. Beautiful blooms. We didn't have a, too much of a freeze this year. We didn't lose any leaves on these trees. They really came back nicely. Here's our fig tree. Hopefully, it's the third year. Hopefully, we're going to get some figs. It takes about three years to produce everything we've read. And those are our peach trees. We have a late bloomer over here. It'll come. Just, she's a late bloomer. And then in the distance over there, we have our pear trees. 